Hi everybody, this is Reese Farber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our top 10 EO action movables this week. Uh, we did uh, 10 and 9 a bit earlier on during lockdown, so we thought we'd carry on to the rest for you today. So these are my 10 favorite EO action movables that we've done. So this particular patient here, uh, has some very, very dry EOX. This is one of the earlier videos that we did. So it's been a little while since I've seen this. It's the first time I've watched this video for a little while. So you can see we've got the standard size Zolna tube in here, We're just slowly working this kind of dry skin, dry wax away from this, uh, this right-hand canal wall. This wax is a really, really tough plug. You can see it's really hard because as you're passing the Zolna tube over the top, it's just breaking tiny little pieces away and they're getting sucked into the machine. So you can see it's really tough old stuff. I managed to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of purchase on this piece of wax here on the left hand side. A bit of olive oil in there as well just to loosen this along. So you can see it it's coming away as almost like a dry skin plate. It's quite common to see this kind of issue with people who have uh, sort of drier skin issues and things like that as well. It's also quite nice for me to look back and see a technique that we did uh, a couple of years back. So I'm just trying to think this is probably about two, maybe three years uh, ago, this little video. Just got a little bit of dry skin coming away there. Because it's so tough and it's not really budging, we're going to use the Jobson horn in here. We've got a nice gap there at the top as well to work into. So trying to get behind that front section, but just missed it a little bit. So we're just taking the front end off. It's pulled through, it's broken. You can see it kind of crumbled into that, uh, into the Jobson horn there. So not really the good grip that we'd like to get to be able to pull it out as one plug. So I'm trying to work around the harder pieces around the outside edge here, just to pull this, uh, pull this forwards. You can see the ridge I'm trying to get behind. Now the outer section will normally be a little bit harder. So if you can get a good grip into that section, you can bring the whole thing forwards. That's what I'm trying to attempt to do here. So we've got a grip on that outer section. Look how that pulls. Do you see it's still attached to the piece behind? So look how it pulls that long strip. It's funny to watch now. I think uh, probably at this point, I probably would have got in with a uh, crocodile forceps and tried to pull that front section to keep it in one piece. But that's just sheared that front end off there now. And you can see, look at how, how dark the wax material is behind. So it rather you all this kind of lighter material on the outside is really dry, flaky bits of dry skin that are embedded into the wax. The wax itself oxidized, it's darker, it's, it's much, much harder as well. Look, it's just like a solid wall in there at the moment. So I'm really trying to get a grip through the outside edge. Ooh, I almost got it, almost got it. It's so a little bit of movement to the wax then. This feels so strange looking back at our old stuff. So, uh, okay. So I'm just gonna try and pull this right hand section forwards, but it's just detached from the section behind. We've gotta be careful here. If we chip away too much of this outer section, we're not going to have, because of the way it's formed in the canal there, there's not much of a gap at the top. If we chip away too much of this outer section here, it's going to be difficult for us to get a good grip behind. Ah, we've managed to get a bit of purchase behind that front section. And pulling that forwards actually brought some of the wax forwards as well. There you go. Ah, there we are. We can start to see the eardrum now. So what we've got now is effectively a ring of dry wax around the outside edge. I think the reason I chose some of these videos, uh, certainly the earlier ones as well, they, they were kind of firsts for us to put on to the, the channel. The first time we see we sort of really dry, difficult ear wax. So it was, it's quite nice to go back over them. And uh, because they were first, they, they were kind of, they, they'll always be ones that stick in my memory. Okay, so we're just gonna go in with a bit of the Zolna tube now, just to pull this section down, there you go. You can see the skin underneath, you see it peeling away. So it's you can see why it's dried onto the canal the way it has. Very, very slowly trying to work this around. I'm trying to keep it in one piece if I can. So if I detach this section then, the bottom's loose, but this section to the left-hand side is still quite firmly attached. I don't know if this is gonna come out with a Zolna tube. There's the crocodile forceps. So we're just gonna grab that. Now, if we're lucky, the whole thing will have enough structure to it to pull everything out in one go. 
if it's too dry it'll shear which is what just happened then so we almost got it out in one piece trying to attach this from the left hand canal wall now a bit of dry skin there at the bottom you can see if you look at the texture the wax has got this kind of grainy uh, bobbly texture to it and, and dry skin there will normally be that just a little bit smoother crocodile forceps going back in again ah that's not enough grip is it yeah, well, well done me <laughs> guys to get that bit out okay let's try and take that bit away there with the forcep i think we just got a hold of a couple of little hairs there we go it's almost out ah, it's, it's get the grip there we go almost there there we go you can see the layers there. Look how that's pulling forwards, actually. It's it's draw you can see that sort of resistance as we pulled it out. It's drawing that deeper section down as well there. I'm trying to hold on to it. I'm trying to keep the grip, but not to hold on to it too tightly because otherwise it does that. It breaks away. It's always a difficult one when you get these kind of dry uh plates. I've got a hold of that slightly softer skin there. I don't think it's going to hold very well. So we're just going to need to bite into it a little bit further. I'm still, I'm tilting my head to try, <laughs> try and see around the corner. Let's pull this down. Oh, it's almost there. It's almost there. Ah, it's going to shear again, I think. It feels so strange watching something you did such a long time ago. I I, I remember it, but not in great detail. So what so what I'm seeing now is 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 uh, is just much of a surprise. It must be what you guys are like when you watch it. Okay, so we're just getting a grip on this a bit of dry skin. Look at this coming away now. Wow, that's a good piece. That is a good piece. That's really dry. It's really really dry. I think I. Uh, the benefit of hindsight now, I think I would have gone in with a Jobson horn at this point and tried to pull forwards. Oh, it's still attached. Look at all that dry skin coming away. My goodness me. Okay, so we'll, we should be able to get a grip on this section now. Wow, look at that coming away. And there's still more in there. My goodness. Okay. So we can see we've got a lot. We can see the top of the eardrum there. We've got a few more bits and pieces to come out. I forgot how good this was. So we're going to lift this bottom section now. I think that's going to be one for the crocodile forceps there, I think. Yeah. So we're just going to grab that section. I think this is going to be, it's going to be quite a thick, wide piece, this one, by the looks of it. Yep, there it is. You can see the dry skin on either side there that was holding all this in. Okay, so we've got this little uh, little dry piece there at the top. We're gonna get it oh, brilliant. That pulled towards the suction with just enough grip. That's fantastic. So that's come away really nicely. Let's take a look behind that. Now we've got this little section at the bottom here of the canal. Are we gonna lift that up? You have to be quite careful with these because sometimes um, they can be really attached to the canal wall. When you lift. It takes away a lot of old dead skin with it, and you can get a little bit of bleeding sometimes. Oh, wow. My goodness, look at that coming away. You can see with that skin. See how the skin behind is much, much thinner? And then the skin at the front there was much, much thicker. It's kind of constantined up. So what do we have there? 12 centimeters. Oh, my God, this was before I did inches. Uh, five inches, I'm going to go with that. That's just a guess, point. <laughs> oh, and it showed you a bit of the tank there. Uh, well... Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, that video there. So that was that was number eight in the top ten. The rest are coming this week as well. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and we'll pop some more on as well for you. And as always, guys, take care. Uh, don't forget, I am away this week, so I won't be able to respond to your comments and things, but I will see you next week as usual.